how to set up your Pinterest API. My name is Mel and today I show you how to set up your Pinterest API, how to get your trial access and then how to get your full access. I will show you all the steps you have to do and all the little tricks you have to know. And then I will provide for you uh, the little setup so you don't have to do anything more than follow the steps in this video, download the JSON file for your NLN workflow and then you can set up everything by yourself and in a few days you have uh, full access to Pinterest API. In Pinterest everything is a little bit different. We don't just uh, get on get API key and then we get the key. No, we have to create an app. Yes, but it's not that technical so everything is good. We do it together. You go on developers.pinterest.com and click on my apps. In my case, I have three different types of uh, kinds of uh, apps right here. One is fully blocked, one is full access, and one is trial access. Uh, when you are new, you don't have any of these, then go up here, click on connect app and put up an image here, um, the name of the app, business name, business URL, um, this uh, URL of the privacy policy, very important, uh, makes the site clean, cover everything, and then um, description of the app. Also here, very important, just keep it simple. One sentence, two sentence, not that much, just basic. Down here, um, the target, what you want to do, for which type of audience and so on, you can't make a mistake. After that, submit and wait. You will get the approval via email. And then you will see here, trial access active. Now we have all the informations we need. We have the app ID, we have the secret key, the production token and the sandbox token. And also down here, we have the button to get the full access. And as you can see, yes, Pinterest wants to see a video. They want to make sure that you use the auth 2 authentication and that um, the workflow is, uh, is uh, correct with their uh, API policy. So, um, just use a free screen recording tool you'll find in the internet and make a little video. And the important thing here is don't build a big, 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 big workflow, a crazy workflow you want to use later. Just make a small one, then show them that you know what you're doing, film it, put it to them, and um, then get the approval and then build a crazy workflow. So a crazy workflow like uh, we uh, built and uh, shown in another video. I, Put the link somewhere up here and um, you can uh, look into it maybe after the video. So let's get into N8N. Now we have three different interesting parts here. We have a Google Sheet and Pinterest post pin API call and um, a get bots ID call through the Pinterest API. Why? Because we have to fill out all the information in the sheet, the image URL, alt text, title, description, link, and the port ID. So for these, we just use test, alt text, it doesn't matter, title, test, title, description, test, description. So now one thing is missing the port ID. The link just provides your link from your website. And for the image URL, you have to use the private uh, bucket like from uh, an, a not a private a public bucket from uh, just uh, something like cloudflare in this case it's cloudflare so you become an url and as you can see it's uh, just it's it's visible for http as requests so it's um, public this is important put it in here and this information just Put in whatever you want and the board id is a little bit tricky because you don't just get it by looking into your pinterest account you have to make an api call so we have this little note down here when you download the file in the description this information will stay the same the only one which is different is this down here this pinterest test production credential so what we have to do now is you go into your Pinterest API, um, Pinterest uh, developers app um, section, and you use your app ID. First thing, just this to do here, just copy and paste it. It has to be, has to be uh, just like this. The ID is the ID you see here, and your client secret is the secret key right here. So after that, 
put in the scopes you want to use board right read pins right read and it's done we will do the reconnect and everything is perfect so this is also important for the video you have to make in this video pinterest wants to see that you make exactly this setup so put in all the information or show them just in the video that you scroll through the information make a reconnect show them that this is an auth 2 authentication and it's connected to your pinterest account and it's successful then you have the first step and everything is perfect so now we can execute and as you can see, here are some board IDs and we take them, put it in here. Yeah. So, one sec. Perfect. So now we have all the information for the second call. This one here is taking the, the information from the node. Yes. So we have all image, URL, alt text, um, title, description, link, and the board ID. So the next one is the second credential we have to set up. It's a Pinterest API sandbox. So this is also important for the first one. I'm sorry, I, I forgot it. Um, you have to use the production. I don't really forgot it. It's doesn't matter because you just uh, copy and use the URLs already provided. But in this case, the only difference is we have to use a sandbox credential. I don't know why Pinterest make it that complicated. Um, but I can't get my board ID when I use a sandbox um, get URL. I, I don't know why. So we also have to make um, to set up another credential. It's, it's completely the same. Uh, only difference is that we have here a slash sandbox. Then client ID, secret, and so on. And reconnect if you want. And as you can see, everything is working fine. So when we have this, we are ready to go. We can just execute the step. And as you can see, pin was posted. And when we look into Pinterest, and go on to the account and we see here is our pin we posted automatically it's a test title test description test alt text so everything is working fine i will delete it for now because i don't need it anymore this right here is also the second step you need for your pinterest video so when you get your board id put it in your in your Pinterest sheet so it will look like this. Maybe you can uh, put another description title in alt text just for showing them that you are serious. And then you just delete these two points, tuck, and also this if you want here. So, and you show them this workflow. So in the end, for the video, you only need this sandbox API credential. And then you have to post it um, at the pin successfully, show them in the account that the pin is online and show them that all the information here are right and you know what you're doing and you did the job perfectly. And then you can go back to your Pinterest um, developers environment and upload the video right here. And after that, as you can see, all the data are is still the same you already provided in the first step for the trial access and then you click on submit and now you don't have to wait just like uh, two three four hours no you have to wait about like maybe two days three days but it's normal they will look on the video manually and um, then they send you an email give you the approval and everything is set up so after that you will if this status it's full access and it's look the same but you have um, the permission to use every um, every type of api call for pinterest so perfect and all the all the calls you make to post a, uh, to to post a pin on pinterest on your account is not uh, private so nobody can see it so now it's public so everybody can see it and you can just work with this and everything is fine yes so that 
is it. Easy. Just do it. Just download the file. Um, use the provided um, URLs I put in here and um, just set up the credential exactly like I, I described in this videos and make a quick video about this workflow. Just simple. Get the access and then build a big cool crazy automation for your pinterest api and for their data analysis and so on whatever you want so thank you very much for watching and um bye bye